very good morning students today we are going to see the part 2 of lesson number 15 air around us in this video we are going to see air is essential for burning composition of air layers of the atmosphere availability of oxygen to aquatic and plant the unending oxygen photosynthesis uses of air and air around us this is the points to remember these things we are going to see in this video let us find the importance of air for burning we have to fix a small candle in the center of the beaker which is half filled with water light the candle now take 1 liter measuring cylinder and place over the candle as shown in the diagram observe carefully what will happen you will see the candle will extinguish in the second diagram but the level of water gets down why this happens so since the oxygen used in the water is used for burning the candle and the space has been space inside the test tube has been left behind so the water level will go up in the test tube and the beaker's level will go down so after carefully studying we can see that the candle flickers out after sometimes in the first condition first second condition the candle burns for a shorter period in a smaller measuring cylinder the candle burns continuously in the cylinder where the small holes are there for the test tube so it shows that oxygen is required for burning even though in the second diagram you can see that in the first part the candle is burning in second part when we are closing this cylinder so the oxygen supply will be cut and the candle extinguished so we can say that used part of air is support burning and this is nothing other than the oxygen air actually is made up of several compounds let us see the composition of air we know air contains different gases nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide water vapor and many other gases during the process of burning the gas released carbon dioxide it makes up a small component of air around us all organic materials when they burn consume oxygen and produce carbon dioxide and few other gases all living organisms require oxygen for their survival the oxygen help in breaking down the digested food in the body to release the energy this process is known as respiration so oxygen needed for respiration purpose as we know when we are breathing we are inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide the burning of fuel and materials also produces smoke it contains few gases and fine particles and is often harmful that is why we see long chimneys in factories the gases in air are mainly nitrogen which is of 78% oxygen 21% and small amount of carbon dioxide and even smaller mix 
of other gases like air worm. The figure which displayed on the screen it shows the average composition of air. It contains mostly nitrogen and oxygen. In fact, these two gases together makes up 99 percent of air. The remaining 1 percent is the constituted by carbon dioxide, argon and a few other gases, water vapors and dust particles. Oxygen help in burning. Therefore, during the incident of fire, it is said to wrap blanket over the burning object. So, the supply of oxygen will cut and the burning will cut off and the fire will extinguish. As we know in geography, we are always used to see layers of the atmosphere. There are different layers of the atmosphere, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. It is clearly seen in the picture. The earth is surrounded by a blanket of air that is atmosphere and these atmospheres are having the different layers. It reaches over 560 kilometers from the surface of the earth. So, we are only able to see what occurs fairly close to the ground since it is very far away from us. The atmosphere protects us from the high energy radiations and the frigid vacuum of space. The envelope of gas surrounded the earth changes from the ground up and these distinct layers are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Air becomes thinner and thinner as we go high up and the, of the surface of the earth. Due to this reason, mountaineers feel difficult to breathe while climbing. This is why they carry oxygen cylinder with them. Most weather process like clouds, rains and lightning occur in the atmosphere. A number of changes continuously take place in the atmosphere. Let us see availability of oxygen to aquatic and plants. To understand this, let us perform an experiment. We are thinking that how the fishes are living in the water, from where they are getting oxygen. This experiment shows that oxygen dissolved in water. And this dissolved oxygen fishes are getting to respiration. Take some water in a vessel, heat it slowly with the help of flame. You can see the picture in a figure. At a closer look we will find that tiny bubbles sticking out in the inner side of the vessel. These bubbles are mainly of oxygen gas present in the air which is dissolved in water. When you heat up water and air dissolved in it escape out in the form of bubbles. The aquatic animals use this dissolved air for respiration. So, it shows oxygen is present in the water. Even though you are observing that, when in the soil if we are adding the water the bubbles are coming out. These bubbles are nothing other than the oxygen present in the soil. The organisms which are living inside the soil, the plant roots respire in this air. Apart from this, due to activities of soil organisms, a lot of burrows and holes are formed in the deep soil. These burrows make space available for the air move in and out of the soil. During heavy rains, rainwater occupies these air spaces. These makes the earthworm comes out from the earth. So, we can understand the oxygen is present in the soil also. Now, the unending oxygen which is photos due to photosynthesis process. Now, children you know that plants respire when they are preparing the food. This photosynthesis process in presence of carbon dioxide, sunlight and air. What they are doing? 
the tiny holes present on the lid not only holes with tiny holes present on the leaves and they are having chlorophyll substance using this chlorophyll carbon dioxide plants are preparing their foods and they are releasing the oxygen and this process is continuously going on in the atmosphere so plants are exhaling the oxygen during the photosynthesis and inhaling the carbon dioxide this will be the balance in atmosphere the balance in nature now let us see the uses of air aeroplanes make use of wind energy to control their movements gliders totally depend on the wind energy for their flight to propel wind energy is used in sail boats wind energy used to drive windmills several windmills have been installed in canada denmark netherland sweden uk and india wind energy is being used for generating electricity it is used to grind grain it is used for pumping water air is also used to play musical instrument this was about the uses of air thank you